she she after telling me I got it, I stop, stop, I'm sorry. Then she came and she basically told me, she was like, you know, I'm so sorry. I, I didn't know you would react like this. Honestly, I was just doing it for, she said first she was doing it for fun. Then she said that, you know what, I was really doing it because I saw that you kept dodging me. I saw that you can't, like, you weren't doing nothing about it. You were just staying on your own. And I felt like you were afraid, so I kept pushing and pushing because I felt like you weren't doing nothing. And um, she also said that she, she also said that she just felt like I was intimidated by her, which I was at that time, I won't lie, because it's like, you're bigger than me, and like, what did I do? All because I wore a certain clothes that you didn't approve of, that's why you're like, trying to follow me and trying to make me feel belittled, trying to make me feel like I'm no one, like, and then she said, you know, you kept running away, and I was like, she was like, she, she just said that, the main reason also why she was doing it, she was trying to be popular. She was trying to feel important. She was going through a lot of stuff and she didn't want to think about it. And she was like, a lot of stuff that goes on with bullying is all in like them feeling bad about themselves. She says all in them not happy with their self, not happy with their life. This is an actual bully telling me this. She's like, they're not happy with their life. She said she wasn't happy with her life. She didn't have a lot of stuff going on. And she just said that she just looked at me as an opportunity to try to go into my life, try to like harass me and everything, to try to feel good about herself. And she said it just made her feel like important. And I was like, wow, all this. She was like, she was telling me, we, after she told me that, she called me that, she was like, I'm so sorry about that. And she was like, it's literally all in the mind frame. And, and all in your mindset, basically, she said that if you give people the power to think that they could be able to overtake you, to think that they could be able to just mess you up and all that stuff, they will take that advantage and use it towards you to try to destroy you. You have to stand up, you have to be strong. That's what she said, she was, oh, this is an actual bully telling me? I was like, mm. <laughs> So she's like, you have to be strong. You can't just go there and um, you see someone trying to intimidate you, you just like, oh, I'm dodging, let me just walk the other way. You gotta stand strong. She told me, you gotta stand strong, you gotta stand up and don't let no one try to intimidate you or whatever and I just thought about it I was like wow you know all my life I've been having people well not all my life but both of them I've been having thinking like what is it wrong with me and all that stuff like I was like depressed at one point because of that I was like I can't believe someone would make fun of someone because of their accent because of the, the way they look and just try to make people feel belittled their kids little kids in elementary school who commits suicide because of this bullying there are people who even adults who go through this and they feel like where's the help there is no help they don't tell anyone about it and even another example is there was a prom king he was all acting like he was i thought this guy was going to be the president of the united states the way he was acting big mouth and everything just acting like you know he was better than people and just bullying people up and down he became prom king because people were scared of him and you know popularity a lot like along the way uh, other people get intimidated by him so ended up being prom king and started pushing carts at Walmart. Walmart, a prom king that I thought that he was gonna be like the president <laughs> or something, something big. And you know, a lot of them, they don't really have too much going for them. They're not happy, a lot of this bully, they're not happy, they're depressed, and they're trying to look for someone who's happy, who got, who they feel like they got it together, because I don't have it together. I'm still, I'm still a work in progress, I really am. So, 
they that's what they felt like that's what both of them feel like the bullies and you know a lot of them they don't really have too much going on so I just wish that they had they teach how to prevent bullying in school so this could help people little kids who are struggling from it and not telling their parents which I believe they should tell their parents about it they should um, they should tell their parents about it tell people about it and when this girl said this to me she was like it's on your mind also the way you act you gotta stand up you gotta like she she told me you gotta stand up you you can't be intimidated you can't just sit there and not do nothing i was like this makes all sense a lot of sense because i was here ignoring this girl thinking that she was gonna stop and she didn't stop until i beat the heck out of this girl until she started noticing that I was winning. Then she said, stop, I can't breathe, stop. And that's it. It shouldn't have to take me. And it, it's because I had the strength. I mean, if I didn't, she probably would have continued. But I had the strength to just, like, make sure I... I was like, we gonna finish this today. <laughs> I was not playing. I was like, we gonna finish this today. You started this, we sure gonna finish this. So, she... It just got to the point where I, it, everything clicked. It was like, I started thinking, I'm like, it is in the mind frame. Because if you could change your mind to be, to be able to have faith, to believe in yourself, to know, for me, biblically, knowing God, praying about it. If I should tell myself back then, I would say, believe in, have faith in God and yourself. To know that you're better, you're worth it, um, you you could overcome this up obstacle that you're going with. No one's better than you, and also just believing in myself, having self worth of not feeling like oh my accent is not is so horrible that you know no one could understand me and my outfit or whatever. You know if I could if I was able to go through all that stuff and just be more positive about it and changing my mind frame and knowing that no one's better than me unless you give them the power to do so and that's my advice to people who are being bullied know that no one is better than you until you give them the power to do that then that means that you let them win but no one can win unless you let them win and uh, you know also be strong about it. Don't be weak. Keeping quiet doesn't make you weak. Let people know about it. Don't be like me that didn't let anyone know about it. And, you know, I just kept being suspended, being um, going through the same stuff. Let people know about it. Let your family, let your teachers, let them know about it. Just don't just keep it bottled up. And um, don't keep it bottled in. And... You know, just be the best you that you can be and be happy. There's people who are doing this, they're not happy at all. They don't have a life, okay? If these people had a life, they wouldn't even bother sticking by you. And honestly, if you don't have no one to tell, you tell your teachers you, and you tell your, you tell your teachers, you speak to your family members, if it gets out of hand that no one's, do um your teachers no one's doing nothing your family member they're not available you know what to do call 911 record like call 911 let them know all the situation that's going on um and let them know what's going on so that at the end of the day if anything should happen at least they know and at least you could be able to save yourself instead of killing yourself or hanging yourself because of some miserable person who has no life who probably won't even be nothing in future i told you about the guy in walmart prom king big mouth bullying people and pushing carts pushing carts at walmart nothing a lot of these people they don't have a life so you be the best you and you have that mind frame of of being positive and being better and don't even worry about what they say because at the end of the day, that's just talk. That's it.
is just talk. So be the best you. I love you all. And I hope you have an amazing day. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share. And um, just let everyone know about Crystal. When all fails, go to Jesus Christ. Click the links below. I love you all. Later. Oh.